how's it going everyone welcome back to another video so in this video we're going to be talking about obviously gail weathers in scream six right and she gets attacked by ghostface in this film and she gets stabbed a couple times and she, she still survives somehow and um i had a i thought that she should have you know died in this movie i'm not saying that i wanted her to but Realistically, though, she got stabbed quite a few times, so, and she had a weak pulse, so she still survived, which, that's cool. I'm glad she survived this film, um, but I thought 100% that she was going to die in that scene, especially when Ghostface was all, you know, chasing her and all that, and she didn't have her gun, she didn't have, um, she was just, I just thought she was going to die in that scene. Um, that's just my, my thoughts. Like, I just felt like she probably should have died, but at the same time, I don't want her to, I didn't want her to die, you know, but uh, just the way it was done, it looked like, you know, that she did, she died, you know, in that scene. But anyways, I'm going to talk about her, what people are talking about. So people are saying that Gail Weathers kind of ruined, you know, Dewey Riley's uh, legacy in this film. And a lot of people say that mostly because, you know, uh, Gail was still kind of writing the books about, you know, the, you know, still writing the books or whatnot. And saying that it kind of ruins Dewey's legacy because she's still writing the books about the killer. But at the same time, I don't think that. I mean, I could kind of, I could kind of see it in some ways why people feel that way. Uh, that maybe she kind of ruined his legacy and didn't really, you know. But I don't really know. A lot of people say that she doesn't, that she didn't really honor like his death or anything like that, like in this film. Like a lot of people felt like you know she just went on with her life, wrote the book still about the killings and this and that and. And that she just didn't care about Dewey, like Dewey's death. But realistically, I don't think that's true. All right. I don't think that's true at all. I think that she did. She had a love for Dewey. She still cared about him in this film. Um, especially when she seen, you know, his picture. And the movie was, you know, kind of brought a tear to my eye, kind of. Kind of getting a little emotional because Dewey was a, just a ugh, iconic character, you know. He was in every single screen movie, and it was just sad to see, you know, that, you know, Gail was basically reacting to to Dewey when she saw his picture and all that, you know, just, like, so, does she respect, you know, Dewey's legacy? I think she does. Now, in some ways, yeah, it may look like she doesn't because she's writing the books about, you know, the murder still, but at the same time, you know, you could see that she really cared about Dewey in that scene, you know? I mean, you really, you could tell. So I think that she, do, she does care about Dewey a lot still. Um, obviously, she does have, like, a new, like, boyfriend in this movie, which he gets killed off, like, right from the get-go, right when he's in, introduced. Like, we don't get any time with him whatsoever. He just gets, you know, killed off, you know, immediately. But... So, obviously, I think Gail still does. Yeah, I think she cares about Dewey still. I, I really do, you know? I think she cares about Dewey still. I think her love for Dewey, you know, obviously, she still gets emotional, you know? Especially when she, she saw that picture of him, you know? Kind of gets really emotional about that, you know, when she sees him, like, in a picture. And it kind of, you know, got me a little bit, like, I, you know... I kind of felt a little bit, you know, like it was just sad, man, like, because I just miss Dewey so much in these movies. It was just sad to see him die, but let me know in the comments, do you guys think that Gale ruined Dewey's legacy at all in Scream 6 in this film? Um, I don't really think she did, to be honest. Maybe... She kind of, you know, okay, she wrote the books, right? 
she's still right is she's still writing the books. But at the same time, I don't really think that it's nothing about nothing on do you know, nothing to do with Dewey, you know what I mean? I don't think it has nothing to do with Dewey as a character. I just think that she just writes the you know, she still writes the books because she's uh that's what she does, right? So I mean that's what that's what she does. So I don't really think it I don't really think it ruins his legacy or anything like that because obviously they still, you know, put pictures in there of him in the movie, right? And she was kinda of getting emotional, you know, and she saw those you know, his pictures. So I don't really think, you know, she that she ruined his legacy or anything like that. But let me know in the comments. Give me your guys' thoughts. Um in the comment section. Cause I hear I heard this. I think I was watching a video about it. Um, somebody saying that it kind of ruins, you know, Gail's or kind of ruins, you know, Dewey's legacy. That you know, because of the fact that she's that Gail's still writing the books about the murders and this and that. But I don't really. I mean, yeah, I kind of, but not really. You know, I mean, kind of in between. Like yeah, she still cares about Dewey, but then again. It's kind of like, well, she's writing the But like I said, let me know in the comments like what you guys think. Um, as always, see y'all in the next one.